okay guys we are into the last session with the miscellaneous mcqs look guys this anti-cancer drugs or isolated lineage to work for themselves so we'll be touching just the mcqs from uh, the from the potential sites uh, where the mcqs can be asked okay so let's begin with the anti-metabolites the folate antagonist folate antagonist means they'll inhibit the folate metabolism and there'll be anemia so methotrexate and pemetrexate are a folate antagonist osteogenic sarcoma methotrexate in high doses is used in osteogenic sarcoma okay but you have to give this methotrexate along with folinic acid to reduce its side effect and pemetrexate is given along with folic acid in non-small lung cell carcinoma okay to reduce its side effect remember folinic acid for methotrexate folic acid for pemetrexate 5 fluorouracil is a pyrimidine antagonist you can also fook 5 fluorouracil from lungs so little amount of 5 fluorouracil is excreted by lungs too okay next are the microtubule damaging drugs like paclitaxel they are obtained from bark of the tree this was the mcq which was asked and most common side effect is again a myelosuppressing okay next are the alkylating agent alkylating agent crisscrosses the dna so that it will get damaged okay so the cancerous cell can be killed so bleomycin causes pulmonary hyperplasia and it causes pulmonary fibrosis okay and the main cell which get hyperplasia are the uh, sur type 2 surfactant cells melphanan which is used in multiple myeloma Chlorambucil is also alkylating agent, but it causes least nausea and vomiting. And ephosphamide is also an alkylating agent. So methotrexate in high dose in osteosarcoma. To ameliorate the toxicity, give it with folic acid and vitamin B12. If folinic acid and vitamin B6 is given, use methotrexate. Which the following is uh, excreted by lung. By fluorouracil it's which of the following is not an alkylating agent which was 5 fluorouracil guys 5 fluorouracil is pyrimidine antagonist and anti metabolite not an alkylating agent which of the following is not true but paclitaxel paclitaxel is a microtubule damaging drug it is obtained from bark of the yew trees like western yew trees not from e coli Pleomycin causes pulmonary fibrosis by hyperplasia of type 2 pneumocytes, which produces surfactant. Melphanan is used in multiple myeloma. Earlier, thalidomide, which is a known teratogenic drug now, was also used for multiple myeloma. So, this question asks which of the following drug causes least nausea and vomiting? Chlorambucil. Ephosphamide is an alkylating agent, okay? We've got the last slide of the day, guys. And bear with me for the last few minutes. I know this sort of things are boring, but bear with me. Imiquimode is an immunomodulator. The drug itself says, I am an immunomodulator, okay? Immunomodulator. It's topically used for genital warts, okay? Which are caused by HPV. Thalidomide, I said earlier, used for multiple myeloma, but now no more used. The drug which is used for multiple myeloma is melphalan. Okay, so most common side effect is constipation, sedation, and peripheral neuropathy. Oprilvecin is a recombinant interleukin 11 agent. It is used to cure thrombocytopenia as a side effect of anti-cancer drug. So if a patient has developed less amount of platelets, you could give him a recombinant interleukin A11 analog. Okay, Oprilvecin. Amifostin is also a sort of protective drug given in, uh, uh, given in chemotherapy. It is a cytoprotective agent. It is a radio protector, so it protects from chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Arlotinib, it's an epidermal growth factor receptor inhibitor. It's also used in non small cell lung carcinoma. Tracrolimus is an immunosuppressant which causes nephrotoxicity. So, immunomodulator for genital warts is imiquimode, it's a modulator. 
which is the following agent is used for treatment for thrombocytopenia operal vecin filgrastim and sargomostin are used for elevation of wbc not platelets amifostin is a radio protector a cytoprotective drug all of the following are known adverse effect of thalidomide except it doesn't cause myocarditis and it will not cause diarrhea it will cause constipation for which of the following is false for allotinib remember allotinib was epidermal growth factor receptor inhibitor used in all small cell lung carcinoma right of course it can cause allergy it's a tyrosine kinase inhibitor so it does not decrease its absorption on food okay it is advisable to give allotinib with food most common dose limiting toxicity of chemotherapeutic agent is myelosuppression one of the following causes nephrotoxicity is tacrolimus and immunosuppressant drug acyclophosphamide and azathioprine are also immunosuppressant like we talked about the role of folic acid folinic acid is a cytoprotective drug and a radio protector also sodium 2 mercaptoethan sulfonate is used as protective in ca- cancer chemotherapy as well and for beta thalassemia the drug of choice now is deferiprone desferioxamine is also an iron chelator and deferiprom is now a drug of choice for beta thalassemia apixaban is an factor 10 inhibitor the drug itself says i am factor 10 inhibitor there's one more drug called riva roxaban right it's also a factor 10 inhibitor okay ho oh, ho oh, we are done with that and that was the last slide of the day and hope you guys enjoyed Pharmacology is a sort of subject which you need to rectify. But anyways, if you need a sort of explanation or something, you could always uh, message me on my WhatsApp number or you could mail me and make sure you follow me on YouTube. And if you message me, I'll try to make a sort of short video on the topic which you said and we'll try to upload it on YouTube so you could have a look on that. Okay, so make sure you put a mail in my mailbox for your feedback and good luck for your pharma. Okay. Good luck and see ya.